draw the equipotential lines for the parallel plate capacitor below. The way I would do this to start off with would be to draw the electric field. The electric field we know goes from positive to negative. So let's draw some electric field lines here first. If those are our electric field lines, and we know equipotentials always cross at right angles, then we can draw our equipotential lines something like this. All right, so these would be our equipotential lines where, and I suppose I probably have one extra in here, we go from zero volts to something like one volt, two volt, three volt, four volt, and finally to five volts up there. So nice straightforward, the big trick here, making sure that these always cross at right angles. Thank you so much for watching educator.com. Hopefully this gets you a great start on capacitors. Thank you so much for your time and make it a great day, everyone.